Okay, students, my name is Theodos Gazal. I'm your physics teacher, and today we'll see lesson 5 of grade 9 unit 7. And last time we have seen about the expansion of liquid, no, solids, and today we'll see the volume expansion of these solids. We have seen solid expansion or linear expansion of solid, well, a real expansion of solid, therefore, the third one today we'll see about the volume expansion of solid. and the volume expansion is take place the volume expansion is take place in three dimensions because volume is three dimensional and volume expansion is increased in length width and what hey because it's what three dimensional three dimensional and for example consider a solid cube of length l naught temperature t naught before it's heated up there is some figure in this figure a and then the cube is heated to temperature th th and after it's heated shown in figure b in figure a it's before and this one is after that means this one is at cold and this one is at hot temperature at hot temperature and at the temperature of the cube increase the volume of the the object will increase increase and this increase in temperature is from t0 to th and it expands in all sides that means length width and height and the volume changes from v0 to vh from this to get the increase in volume we use vh minus v0 that means volume at hot minus volume at cold temperature and according to the law of expansion of volume in substance depends on the original volume and rises in temperature rising in temperature and mathematically we can explore this Mathematically, we can express this change in volume is proportional to V0 times change in T, V0 times change in T, and change in V over V0 times change in T is always constant, and this constant is called as gamma, gamma, and this gamma is the expansion coefficient of volume or volume expansion coefficient of solid. Volume expansion coefficient of solid, and if you make crisscross, change in V becomes V naught gamma times change in T, and this equation is used to calculate the increase in volume of a substance. A substance, and if you are asked to calculate volume at hot temperature, you must use this equation, the second equation, and VH is volume at hot, and here V change in V is volume increase in volume of a substance, increasing volume of the substance. And the relationship between alpha and gamma here as you, uh, uh, I told you that gamma is what volume volume expansion expansion coefficient coefficient of of solid no volume expansion coefficient of yeah solid solid and there is a relation between alpha and gamma alpha is the linear expansion coefficient and gamma is the volume expansion coefficient of solid therefore the relationship is if you drive and you can't try there is on your takers and if you drive you got v e uh, gamma is equivalent to three times what alpha three times alpha and the other thing is example and in this example we will see that how we can use this increase in volume and expansion coefficient of no volume expansion volume expansion how we can treat questions which is related to volume expansion here we have some block and this block has three dimension 50 centimeter 4 centimeter and 20 centimeter at 20 degrees celsius and it's heated to a temperature of how much 220 degrees celsius if the linear coefficient is this much you are asked to, to calculate what increase in volume that means change in v and change in V is what? Vc or V0 times gamma change in T. Gamma is given and the temperature difference is 220 minus 20. We can calculate, but Vc is not given. First, you can calculate Vc. Vc is 50 times 40 times 20. You can multiply this all because this length is at 20 degrees Celsius and 20 degrees Celsius is the temperature before it's heated up. Therefore, first let us take out the given. The given is change in T is 200 degrees Celsius because TH is 220 and TC is 20. Therefore, this one is TH and this one is what? TC. And 
220 minus 20 becomes 200 and alpha is given 1.5 times is the power of minus 5 and it's not listed here but we have also lengths 50 centimeter width 40 centimeter and height so much 20 20 sorry 20 centimeter therefore we are asked to calculate change in v to do this we take the equation that v naught first we must calculate what v naught or vc vc or v naught is the product of the length the width and the height the length is 50 the width is 20 40 and the height is 20 therefore we can take the product of these three and the product of these three becomes 40 thousand centimeter cube you can write this four times in the power of four centimeter cube as like this and then change in v is equal to v naught times 3 times alpha change it because here the expansion coefficient given is linear expansion coefficient but linear expansion coefficient is related by gamma is equivalent to 3 times alpha therefore in the place of gamma here in the place of gamma here we can substitute this one is equivalent to gamma because the equation for change in v is vc times gamma times change in t therefore in the place of gamma we can substitute 3 times alpha and you substitute the values the values and the product of this all becomes 300 no 36 centimeter cube and this 36 centimeter cube is the increase in volume because of temperature change from 20 to 200 20 degrees celsius therefore this is how we can treat the expansion the expansion in volume the other thing is application of this thermal expansion Thermal expansion is widely used in by metal, metallic strips and by metallic strips as switch and thermostat. Let us see the, the, the uh, by metallic strip. This by metallic strip is strip made of what? Two different metals. These two different metals are bound together. Bound together. This bonding technique is along their lengths. For example. We can bound iron with brass, and the coefficient of linear coefficient of expansion coefficient of iron is this much, and for brass is this much. There is expansion coefficient difference. When the strip is heated, the brass expands more than the iron. Therefore, the strip bends, and the bending is always towards the lower expansion coefficient. Therefore. Note that the bi the bimetal strip bends towards the metal which expands less when it's heated. That means which have a low expansion coefficient and bends towards the metal strip which is constructed most when cold. When cold. Therefore, here we use iron and brass. Among this, which one has a large expansion coefficient? The brass. Therefore, the brass expands highly and the iron expands lower than this the brass therefore it bends towards the iron towards the iron this is all about today until next time have a nice time